Today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Da -da -da -da. I think I need a better jingle. Assalamualaikum. Hi guys, my name is Ismail and you're watching Cik Mael Flee. So today is a Saturday. It's great to be shooting a video on a very warm and sunny, sunny, shiny, sunny Saturday. I think it has been like my routine, like every Saturday on my off day, I kind of have to shoot a video. Actually, tomorrow I'm expecting guests to come over. Well, not guests. Um, my interior designer decided that he wants to do the photo shoot for the completed house. Well, it's to me personally, it's not like 100% complete. So I have to actually rush things. I don't know why I said yes to the photo shoot for tomorrow, but I think uh, because the Chinese year is coming soon, they need to kind of like rush everything. So um, I have a lot of things on my plate today. So I have to like clean the house. I have to like decorate and whatnot. So, but one of the things that I want to complete is actually the necklace. Uh, how do I call it? There's this frame that I want to hang all my necklace. So like a necklace display thingy that I'm like trying to build so today I want to show you how to build this necklace display thingy so that you can hang all your necklaces so let me show you where I'm gonna put together this necklace display is in my wardrobe room I've created this mess already over here so I was trying to figure out so I started a bit before I shoot the video because I don't want to look like a clumsy fool I've already actually started so this is the frame that I'm gonna hang all these a thousand necklaces I have over here um, I have a bit here I have a bit inside this display I have a bit at my mom's house so this I have two one over here and then one over here so i am going to show you how i put together this necklace display thingy as you can see i am like not the best handyman ever look at all these crooked nails over here but i think it does the job well i, I guess i can like fix it a bit so this uh, i started halfway over here so what I did was I actually used uh, this is this cardboard is actually from one of the packages that I uh, used uh, from the wardrobe. So I save a bit so I, because I thought like, I can use it for something. So I guess this is it. So it's like a backing for this uh, frame over here. This frame is from IKEA as well. It's very very affordable. It's from Ivar I V A R. So I actually measured this across here uh, from this to this is fifty cm. So I start from the center, 25 cm, 50 divided by 2 is my L, yes, correct, 25. So I started from the center and then I make my way through to make sure that uh, all the nails are quite even. So I actually also use, see I'm a very recyclable, re I'm a recyclable person, what? No. Okay, so this is the tool that I use. Uh, I recycle because I'm cool like that. It actually comes from the package from the wardrobe system. So I decided that mm, I think I can make good use of this instead of throwing it out. Since I bought five of the wardrobe, I have a total of five of this. Uh, so I actually use it to actually... Uh, so I actually use it to actually uh, put the nails in. So what you do is... Uh, you put like this uh, <laughs> so you actually you can actually uh, hold the nail in place and then you knock the nail in and then I measure uh, I put one more of this to create a gap and then I move on to another of this so that it will create some kind of gap between your necklaces because you don't want to actually uh, up any nail in your nails too close together because your necklaces come in different shape and sizes and then the pendants could be quite big so i actually uh, measured so a necklace can be around this size so i was like uh, measuring and okay i think i need like space in between so you don't want to actually hang your uh, nails and uh, not hang uh, put your nails too close together well um, it depends if your necklaces are not very big and then like it's all slick and whatnot and you want to 
put more then it's fine but i guess this is the size that i'm comfortable with so i am going to continue to build this necklace display thing planning to actually put two of these together side by side on the side here so this is how it looks completed with all the nails nail in so the top the center and the bottom so now i have to do uh, make this one don't you just love it when the day is very bright it's very sunny so okay so the audio might be a bit uh, noisy because i opened the windows but i just want to share with you some of my favorite necklaces maybe not so much to bore you so uh, from the left here this is by love bullets i think this is like for example the the ends of a bullet the concept of the brand is to actually use those uh those live ammunition bullets and then like they take parts of it and then turn it into jewelry maybe i'm not sure but i like it it's very small it's very slick and then it says love love three i have another love bullet uh like this one and then it's like a prism and then it has the bullets i think the trademark is probably this uh, design this ends of the bullet there so this one is from urban outfitters i'm not sure what brand it is but this is incredibly affordable. I think it's like five pounds about there. I'm not sure uh, how much when you convert, but it was that cheap. So I actually like this a lot. I think it's very, very nice. So, and then a bit on the pricier side is this Vivian Westwood necklace. I've always, whenever I pass the boutique, oh my God, I want... And then I bought like the ASOS version because you know <laughs> you always want to get like a cheaper deal and then i bought it and then um esau sent me an email say oh sorry we don't have the stock anymore i said no i don't want my money back i want the necklace the limbs and everything can move so that's quite cool and i have all these other necklaces that i'm going to actually sort out and hang on my display Okay guys, so this is the completed necklace display thingy. <laughs> so um, I've actually brought it out into the living room because uh, it was very dark in the wardrobe room. So, um, and I've also actually brought all the necklaces from my mom's house. So let me just run through with you quickly. Okay, so on the top left hand corner here is where you will find all the sleeker necklaces with all the smaller pendants. Um, I have this one is from APC. I have, uh, this is the new one that I uh, share with you in the unboxing video. I have my love bullets here and then I have a small little skull here which I was really into skulls at one point. So yeah, so these are the sleeker ones with the smaller pendants. And then on the right hand side is uh, my Travis Scott slash, uh, what's the other guy? Travis Scott, uh, ASAP Rocky kind of necklaces. Okay, they're all here and then on the left, center is um all the slightly oh no sorry it's all the gold this is lon van this is paul smith a gift from my best friend 
uh, there's Cheap Monday and then there's uh, I kind of forget the rest. Um, these are all the black ones. This is the Hanya Bay that you can use it as a ring. Then on the right side in the middle, uh, I've actually put all the necklaces with the slightly bigger pendants. I have this one from Anya Bay as well, from Stussy, my Urban Outfitters, my Vivian Westwood, and then I have a Dream Catcher here as well. And then on the left bottom corner is where the dog tags are. If you can see it. And then uh, beside it is all the beads. And I think this one is quite nice. This is uh, made from shells. I'm not sure whether they're the real thing, but this is from ASOS. So if there's like a beach Hawaiian theme, I guess. And, and then I have more beads here and also the leather ones. Um, you can have all this ethnic tribal i don't know uh yeah with all the feathers and whatnot there's a mm, mini harmonica and then yeah so i hope that you really enjoy what i share with you today so until i see you in the next video bye guys